All right, guys, all my bow fishing friends, everybody who has wanted to know more about this bow, um, it's been a long time coming, and there is no elephant in the room, okay? Mistakes were made. But it wasn't really an engineering issue, it was a material issue. Right. Can you, can you break that down for us in the short term? Sure. Um, so essentially what happened is um, when we prototyped this bow, the material that we had prototyped it with um, wasn't the correct material. Um, so we did, did, did our testing and evaluation um, and we thought the bow was good to go. Well, then we started to get some more closer to production uh, models of limbs in. Well, then they, they, they switched to, to the material that we had specced out, which, uh, you know, now we know it, it didn't pass tests. Yeah. Um, it wasn't quite up to snuff. Um, so then we had to kind of step back and reevaluate and say, okay, what's going on here? Um, how can we get the right material in here? Um, and how do we make sure that we have it? And so we uh, did a thorough testing process. Uh, we make these things at a really high temperature um, with the bow in a very humid environment. Um, we take measurements before and after. Uh, we pull these bows out now. They're super solid. You let them cool down to the point, point, point where you can handle them, sure. and they're ready to go. Um, Everything stays solid. We've got the right material now. Uh, the outward limbs, we did take the time to just beef up um, just because. I'll just um, try because <laughs> I know everybody wants me to, but uh, you know, you don't think I'm going to do it. I'll just try right now. No super foldy limbs no. anymore. No. <laughs> okay. No. So this bow did not just come about. I know that this bow has been worked on through Oneida and the engineers for at least five years. It's been a long time coming. They wanted to make sure that we're able to produce a product that is for every bow fisherman, whether you're a weekend warrior or a tournament fisherman, but at a price point that everyone can afford. And finally, the LVX is here. I'm very excited about it. I'm probably one of a handful that's you know been able to spend some time with it on the water um, in a prototype phase and look forward to uh, to getting it out on the water. Um, when the time comes, very very shortly, when I get one of these at home, the final model, um, we're going to do another video and explain to you exactly how to tune and set this up. The draw length adjustments are 25 to, is that right? Uh, yep, 25 to 29. 25 to 29, okay. And then limb weight is gonna be? Uh, max is out at 50 pounds. Max out at 50, um, but you're gonna be able to shoot it at a very low poundage. Yeah. Um, but once it gets below a certain let's say below 30 pounds or so, um, you lose a lot of this preload and the you bow's do. gonna be a lot less efficient. Um, that being said, for a... For a bow that everyone can't afford and a machined riser, uh, everything on here is solid and ready to hit the water. We're gonna be we're going to be shooting this bow, we're going to be talking about it a lot here in the coming months. But uh, really look forward to, to getting this out on the water. Um, you can not only, you know, change where the bow loads up, but you can also change the draw size as well, you know, with a, with a simple um, limb mounted draw stop for the outboard. But um, you can buy this bow straight or you can buy it in a package, right? right? Yep. But we're still doing that, and it's going to be with this Pro Series reel. Is correct. that correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, guys, check out my other videos for the Tournament Series reel and the Tournament Series uh, reel seat. That's what we're calling it, right? Yep. Tournament Series? Okay. Yep. Um, but uh, as always, Muzzy is dedicated to bringing high-quality bow fishing products to you at home. I don't care if you shoot a thousand fish a night or you think that walking the bank and shooting one fish after work is a good week Absolutely. because I would love to do that some weeks <laughs> and there's been weeks where I've done it. Sure. The bow's in the truck all the time and if I can stop by a certain little creek, um, no GPS coordinates in the description, I know you're already checking, 
but uh, yeah, it's been known to happen, and uh, I love it. So, Isaac, I appreciate you joining me on this video. Guys, stay safe, shoot straight, shoot off, and don't forget to order those personal flotation devices. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, and check out more of our archery trade show content right here on the Outdoor Mentors.